So I've got two chick embryos in my tube here, and I've just added some Bouin's fluid. This Bouin's fluid is uh, our specialized fixative that we're going to use uh, to preserve these embryos so that their cartilage can be stained. So let me spread these two embryos in this tube out and see if you can get a good image of them side by side. Their head is at the top, and you can see the limbs there at the bottom. Head at the top, limbs at the bottom. Two separate chick embryos straight from the egg into Bouin's fluid. So our embryos need to stay in the fixative, the Bouin's fixative, usually for half a day, a day, up to maybe two days to, for the fixative to fully penetrate through and make sure all the tissues are fixed. This fixative, however, is very corrosive. In fact, if the fixative dries, it can become explosive. So we've got a special waste bottle here, and once a year, Co calls a company that's able to dispose of these wastes. So you can see the yellowish fixative. I'm going to rinse that off by dumping it into the Bouin's waste bottle. Notice how I use these like a shield to make sure that my embryos don't fall in. So I've got my slightly dried embryos here with our waste bottle. So immediately what I want to do is go to the next step. And I've got arrayed here the different liquids that we'll be using for this histology experiment. We'll be adding ethanol and then ammonium hydroxide. We could use hydrogen peroxide to bleach the tissues, but as you can see, they're already white. There's no dark pigments that we need to get rid of. So first step will be to add 70% ethanol. And I'll just pour that on. And what we're doing here is we're washing away the XX fixative. Again, this would be a step that we would uh, wait for multiple uh, hours to even days, leaving it in fixative so that the excess fixative, or leaving it in the ethanol, so that the XX, excess, I'm having a hard time with that word, fixative is washed out of the embryo and all that yellow liquid, we want this to be clear. We don't want any excess fixative, especially because it's a rel relatively dangerous substance. So embryos can stay in ethanol for um, usually up to about two days before they get to be, become very hardened. And then it becomes harder to work with them and manipulate them to look at the tissues that you're interested in. But ethanol is great at uh, changing solutions. So what we're doing here is a wash, an ethanol wash. And because there is Boone's fixative in here, I'm going to dispose it again into the hazardous waste. And we'll go to our next step, which will be ammonium hydroxide. Screen. I've already had these embryos uh, have most of the uh, Bouin's fixative washed out, and therefore I'm getting a pretty uh, clearish liquid here where uh, I still have a tint of yellow, but I've got most of the excess Bouin's already out of them. It would be much more yellow than this uh, if I hadn't already had these embryos soaking uh, before we started the videos today. So uh, a Maybe two hour to 12 hour rinse in here to make sure we've got all the booins out that we can get. <clears throat> and back to the ethanol. Again, I'm skipping a hydrogen peroxide step here because the animals themselves don't have any pigmentation that would cause us to need to bleach them, okay? So bleaching is uh, something that happens to remove pigment on the excess on the outside. Like if you wanted to dye your hair, for example, right? you would use bleach a, or hydrogen peroxide to take the pigment colors out. But these ones are already very whitish. The only thing that's dark here is their eyeballs. 
And uh, we're going to try to look at staining the cartilage on the inside. And therefore, um, we don't need to do any bleaching. Notice that I've spilled a little on me. This is why you use gloves and you do this in a hood. Even though I was very careful about getting the lid on, uh, you wouldn't want this fixative on your body. Okay. So, after um, rinsing again, this will be our last rinse. Now the embryos are ready to progress to the next stage. So what is the next stage? The next stage is to prepare the embryos for receiving the pigment that is going to stain their cartilage. So now from the 70% alcohol that they were just in, I'm transferring them to an acid alcohol. The acid alcohol is an important step because the dye called Alcyon blue is diluted in an acid alcohol. So the acidity allows this blue dye to bind to the cartilage inside the bone, inside the developing bones or developing cartilage of the, uh, of the chicks. At this stage, these embryos have a skull, they have a backbone and vertebrae, they have legs and you know, limbs and toes. So you'd expect some bone to be in there. But these very small embryos actually also are mostly making their long bones through um, uh, chondrogenesis. In other words, they start these, making these endochondral bones by, first of all, laying down a cartilage matrix and then replacing the cartilage cells with bone cells. And so we'll be able to label basically their entire skeleton at this stage of development. The final step after using the acid alcohol is to apply the dye. So I now submerge these. Oh, if I can get it open. There we go. This is a typical histology procedure where you have to apply many different washes and rinses and solutions in order to achieve the desired result. Each of these might sit for an hour to two days before you go, wow, whew, that was a close one, before you go to the next step. So my embryos are now submerged in this very dark blue dye, and I will leave them in the hood for a couple days until we come back and then rinse out all the unbound dye. The dye will only remain bound to the cartilage. The dye that gets in the skin will be rinsed out by ethanol washes followed by methyl salicylate, which is mint wintergreen. And that methyl salicylate uh, will actually clear the tissues. So next I'm gonna show you some the final result of this procedure. After the ethanol washes and the methyl salicylate, have washed out the excess blue dye and cleared the tissues. Clearing tissues is different than bleaching pigments. Clearing tissues turns all of the cells to glass so that they are invisible. And so the only thing we'll be able to see is the blue bound to the cartilage inside the embryo.